everybody! I'm back and I've actually been saving this next thing that I'm going to show you for a while. And I saw the brand when I first moved to France and I've always been really interested in them, but about two months ago I went ahead and bit the bullet, but I lost the bag that they were all in. <laughs> Um, in the process of moving things around my apartment. So I found them a couple days ago. Haven't used them yet, so you guys are going to get to see first swatches, impressions, etc, etc. And it is the Fred Ferrugia. I really don't think you're going to be able to see this. I will put the name, I mean it'll be in the title obviously, and then I'll put information down below. Um, but I always liked the concept of this, and... The way it works, it looks like this, and these, they all, like, here's a cream blush, and they just pop off like this, and then you, they're magnetized, and then you just pop them back in. And I have two separate kits because I have a little one like this, and then this big one. This one right here is the full starter kit, I think, and it at the bottom has this which pulls out and then has some brushes in it. I think the brushes are going to be pretty useless but I haven't tried them yet so I can't say whether they are or not. I'm going to swatch the eyeshadows that I have using these which is just they're just regular sponge tip applicators although I like that they're black and white. Anyways um, and then this one is just the basic kit which has the top and the mirror bottom, but no brushes. And I got this one when I, it was like a gift with purchase when I got the other ones. So, sorry my hair is like, ugh. Okay, well anyways, we'll get started. I'm going to start, I kind of split these up so that I could throw them in my bags. This is my like smoky eye kit, and then this one's kind of got everything else in it. And this is a full line of products. So, there are concealers, cream foundations, powders, blushes, cream blushes, illuminators, bronzers, then there's lipsticks, lip gloss together, matte lipsticks, matte lipsticks with powder, and then lip glosses and eyeshadows, obviously. So... The only thing I don't have are like any of the lip glosses. I have one of the, the matte ones with powder, but that is it. So I'm just going to get started. Um, the first thing, and I will, I'll put all this information in the bottom bar, but is this cream blush, which I don't think is coming out as vibrant as it is in real life on camera, but it is the, I hope these are on the back. Yeah. It is the uh, Transparent Cream Blush in 02, and I will swatch that for you guys here. Oh, so it really is. Hold on, let me get some more. So there's kind of the color, and this really is like super blendable. I really like the texture of this already. I obviously, I mean, I haven't used it yet, but it's really creamy and it looks super buildable. So you could do like a light flush or a really, you know, nice pink pop of color. So that is the cream blush in 002. The next thing I have is just a peachy blush, pink, peachy, kind of like everything else I wear. And it is the, um, just the blush in shade 08 and I'm just going to swatch that right next to it and these seem to be not oh there we go there you go it kind of it, I wish my lighting was better I always say that um okay well it kind of is just not looking like anything but um, it looks to me on my skin like a peachier version of NARS Orgasm without all of the shimmer. There's a slight sheen to it, but there's no shimmer. 
So that's the blush in shade 08. Um, and then I got one of the highlighters. And this is, there's two, there's a really dark one. And then there's this one. There we go. And this is the Illuminating Power Powder in 01. And I'm sure, I don't think you're going to be able to see this. Yeah, it's right here. But it's just gold, light, um, seems to have a nice like sheen to it, so that's nice. And now we're getting into the eyeshadows. I'm going to swatch these with the applicators just because hopefully you'll be able to see them better. Um, and it comes with three, which is nice. Um, I thought these would be really great to throw in my purse. Um, sorry, just to throw in my purse for like nights out when I know that I'm gonna have to go straight from school. So the next shade I'm gonna do is this purple duo. And this is the twink pearlized twinkle eyeshadows in number 27. Um, and we will just swatch these. Okay, so first I'm going to do this, the more purple side. These seem to, right off the bat, they seem to blend well, but there does seem to be a little bit of powder kick up. So there's the purple. And then I will swatch this sparkly side, which is having some major fallout, so I don't know if I like that. Um, but I will, oh, and it's it's not as purple as I thought it was. It is a black with silver and like purple sparkles. So there's that duo, and that duo again is number 27. So this is the black, which is interesting and then the next ones I got is this one which is the um, just the regular um yeah these are the pearlized twinkle eyeshadows in number 28 so I have 27 and 28 um, I'll swatch the nude side first. Oh, I like this one a lot better. It's right here. Um, I wouldn't say it's an all-over color, at least on my skin, but it's really similar to the color that I'm wearing on my lid today. And then I will swatch the silver side. And with these duos so far, it seems to be like there's a kind of softer side and then the one that's really sparkly is like a little bit tougher and kicks up some more powder. So this one is kind of just a less pigmented black with some sparkle in it. Um, and then since we're on eyeshadows, I will switch to this smoky eye quad that I have. Um, and so the first thing I put is just this really neutral, sorry, base color duo, which is the satin eyeshadow in number 31. And hopefully these are softer. I don't think with my light you're going to be able to see this. So you can kind of, yeah. okay, well, not really, but you can see the streak of black in the middle of it. But, so it's that color right there, but that was this top one, the kind of cream. God, I'm really bad with the camera. And then I'll swatch the bottom one, which maybe since it looks darker, it'll be easier to see. I like the texture of these satin ones better, I think, already. And so you still can't really see that one, but it's you can kind of see it. It's right there. 
This is the first one and the second one. So obviously, I mean, they're totally blending into my skin, so these would be really great base colors. And then the last eyeshadow I got looks like this. And it is the Smoky Eyes with a cake eyeliner pencil and a pearlized twinkle eyeshadow. And this is in number two. There's two of these. There's a brown one and then this one. Mm. Let me. This cake eyeliner, I will have to. Oh, no, it's a cream eyeliner. Okay, so. I'm just going to swatch this with the liner brush that came with the, it seems to be pretty smooth though, so there's the black liner. And then I think that this twinkle shadow one is going to be very, very similar, if not the same to this one. But I will swatch it right below. Okay, so this one's not as sparkly or pigmented. So this is the smoky eye and I figured that would be really great just to I mean obviously smoke out whatever I'm wearing and etc etc. Then the last thing I have from them is actually the thing that I am most excited about and I will do a look of the day soon wearing this and it is the Semi-matte lipstick with the matte lip powder in number 06. Let me just get out the lip brush, which I don't think is going to do very much. There's also one of these for your eyebrows, as I brush my own hair with it, um, which I thought is nice because that's always one of the things I'm like trying to touch up on the go. Okay, so the idea behind this is that this is a lipstick and then this is a powder and you put the lipstick on and then you powder over it and it creates a super matte lip with I mean they really don't go anywhere and any of my lipsticks that I want to make matte I try and find an eyeshadow similar um, okay hold on I will show you okay so here's the lipstick and you can see it still has sheen to it. And then I'm just going to take my finger and do this. And then you take the powder and you just and powder over it. I mean, that's the best way to describe it. So there you can see now it's, it doesn't have any of that sheen. It makes the, makes the shade brighter. It makes, sorry, I'm trying to find something to wipe my hands off with. Um, it'll make it last forever. Um, so that's, so that's that. So there are the swatches again, if anybody's interested. I'm really, I'm really excited to try the, the cream blush and then this one. I'll probably wear them together. And when I do, I will do a kind of face of the day. Oh, two more things. They come with these little socks, which are awesome. This is the one for the bigger one and the smaller one. And then the bigger, like, full toolkit or whatever came with their powder puff, which comes in a thing like this. And then you pull it out. And you, it has, you, hold on. So you slide two, one or two fingers in, depending on how big your fingers are. Um, but the idea is that you slide your fingers into it like this. And I don't think you're going to be able to tell. But, okay, yeah. So this side is really soft and would be great for, like, their cream foundation. And the other side is for powder. Um, so just heads up. So, I mean, you really could do an entire look within the comp within the company. And that about wraps it up. I just wanted to show you, I got today four more of the neutral aqua creams, so I will be doing swatches of those next. I will see you guys soon. Bye.